Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, launch angle. What gives you a high launch angle? What rackets? What strings? What tension? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is, oh, we got a new member here, Mike A. Mike A writes, just stumbled, just stumbled upon your channel and videos and have enjoyed and learned a lot from your content so far. I'm 36 years old and have just started playing tennis again after 20 years. I just purchased the Wilson Clash 100 version 2 with... Technofiber Excellent Biphase 17 gauge in the black, strung at 53 pounds. I'm not sure if that string was the right choice, though, and if the tension is the right amount. Looking forward to more content and consultations. Have a wonderful day. Oh, thank you, Mike. Um, yeah, if you're worried about, you know, possibly avoiding tennis elbow, uh, given you haven't played for 20 years, uh, you have probably the best combination right now. Got a nice soft racket, got some great soft multi strings at a thin gauge, so you'll get a lot of comfort from um, your, your combination. So yeah, welcome back to the game. Um, have fun with it. You got a great racket, you got a great string, and, uh, and I appreciate you being a member of my coffee club. So thank you and welcome Mike A. If you wanna be a member or contribute to my coffee habit, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you just wanna to contribute to the channel, super thanks is the way, link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Ooh, nice and hot. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me what, it, what racket provides the highest launch angle. It took me a while to think about this one a little bit because it's not just the racket though. Racket has something to do with it, but it starts with your swing. You have to make sure that you have, you know, the right type of swing um, that will help the launch of the ball come through, right? If you have a nice flat swing, right, launch angle isn't going to do a whole lot for you. Now, if you have like a like a Coach Rob type of swing where you hold it continental and and you do that kind of a loop that comes down and then comes up like as you come through, uh, that will have a slightly lower kind of a launch angle just because of the way he holds it and the way the swing path is. So your swing path is the number one thing in launch angle, how you swing. So the people who have like a Western grip, like, you know, it comes through with a closed face, comes through up and kind of windshield wipers through it will probably have a greater launch angle of a swing, therefore providing you with a possible possibility of a greater, you know, height and top and more loop, or as they call it, um, spin, <laughs> shape, you know. So your swing is number one. Do you have a swing that can provide greater launch angle? If yes, then we move on, right? Now, so if you have the swing, do you have the swing speed? Does your swing come through fast, therefore covering the ball and coming through it fast, therefore imparting the spin on it and making it go up this way and then having it drop down the other way? If you do, then great. If not, maybe work on that a little bit and come through maybe a little 
faster. Okay, so we talked about the swing and we talked about the speed of your swing now. Let's talk about the equipment. Um, a lot of the rackets that are on the market that basically is built for spin will have the highest will have the highest launch angles too. Now rackets like this X SX300 even says spin. Right, well, why is it built for spin? Because it's headlighter. It comes through and cuts through the air faster. Therefore, you can have greater or you will have greater head speed to come over the ball. So swing, grip, swing speed, and then comes the racket. Okay, so that is a higher launch angle spin racket, SX300. I say that the 100, I'm just going to say the 100, but the whole series is built for spin. Another obvious choice, obviously the arrow. It's been deemed a spin machine for many, many years because of the same characteristics. Headlight, aerodynamic throat, cuts through the air fast. Because it's headlight, therefore you're able to impart the spin. Therefore it has a greater launch angle. Oh my gosh. Harry, you played well. Oh. Thank you, coach. Been feeling really good lately. That second set, you really came alive. What was it? Strings? Grip? Shoes? What? It's actually this electrolyte mix from my friends at RTP called Second Wind. Wow. I pop that into my water bottle, shake it up, and I'm good to go. Wow. That's my other win. V Core 100 Pro. Kind of the same thing. Okay. Now, all of these are going to be 100 square inches. They're all going to have a good amount of space in between. The strings, 16, 19 string patterns are what all of these pretty much will be. Um, therefore, the greater space in between the strings, the more opportunity for spin, more opportunity for you to come up and those strings to snap. But we're going to be talking about strings next. Okay. So another one with high launch trajectory, launch angle. Okay. v 100. The Clash, nice and soft, bends this way, bends this way, therefore more upward mobility, and it's really, really headlight, cuts through the air really, really fast. Therefore, if you want to impart spin, right, swing fast with this racket. As I've told you guys, this racket wants you to swing fast. If you want to impart spin on the ball, swing fast and swing up. New player to the game. This is a 16 by 20 though, okay? But the Shift Regular and the Shift Pro. Um, because of the way it bends like the Clash, right? They claim that it imparts 15% more of a launch angle, therefore decreasing errors that you would normally hit the net with. I actually kind of felt that. I actually enjoy the stiffness of it going this way, and I like the bend going this way. So when it, it flexes this way, when it's coming up at impact, right, it throws it up in the air, therefore giving more clearance over the net. Now, those are the rackets that I recommend if you're seeking a higher launch angle. But there's a couple more factors to this. Uh, the strings you put in actually will play a good part in the angle 
in which the ball will fly. Now, the stiffer the strings, the less it's going to fly. Unless, unless you string it low, right? Unless you string it low and you can swing fast and hard enough where you can make that hard string snap. So for most of us, we probably want a soft string and we want a poly, okay? Like, let's say Hyper G, right? This will be easy. It's a square string. It's a poly. If you string this low, it will snap. If you swing it fast and up, it will snap more, therefore giving you an increased launch angle. Now, if you use like my string, Confidential, or Torbite, um, probably a little bit harder to, to make it snap, a little bit harder to make it launch high because it's firmer. But like I said, if you swing hard enough and you can make these snap, right, more power to you. Now, a string like Vanquish, um, Maltese, Natural Guts, probably will not allow for the high trajectory launch angle. Like these are more suited for lower trajectories, flatter hitters. It won't snap as much um, because it's a softer, softer compound. Now there's theories out there and I do believe these theories. If you string your main tighter than your cross by two, three, four, five pounds, you will allow for the mains to spring more, therefore giving the strings the opportunity to snap and giving you an increase in your launch angle, which makes total sense. Um, I don't recommend it, but if launch angle is what you want, definitely try it, okay? So I just told you the rackets, right? The strings, the tension, now it's up to you. Check your swing and check your swing speed. And then you will be able to get the highest clearance over the net with the most spin and the highest launch angle. All right, guys, hope that helped. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.